Prime Minister. On a point of order, Mr Speaker, I'm pleased that this House has expressed its confidence in the Government tonight. I do not take this responsibility lightly, and my Government will continue its work to increase our prosperity, guarantee our security, and to strengthen our union. And yes, we will also continue to work to deliver on the solemn promise we made to the people of this country to deliver on the result of the referendum and leave the European Union. I believe this duty is shared by every member of this House. And we have a responsibility to identify a way forward that can secure the backing of the House. To that end, I have proposed a series of meetings between senior parliamentarians and representatives of the Government over the coming days. And I would like to invite the leaders of parliamentary parties to meet with me individually, and I would like to start these meetings tonight. Ah. Mr. Speaker, ah. the Government approaches these meetings in a constructive spirit, and I urge others to do the same. But we must find solutions that are negotiable and command sufficient support in this House. And, as I have said, we will return to the House on Monday to table an amendable motion and to make a statement about the way forward. The House has put its confidence in this Government. I stand ready ready to work with any member of this House to deliver on Brexit and ensure that this House retains the confidence of the British people. Last night, last night, the House rejected the government's conclusion of its negotiations with the European. Order, order. order. I called the Prime Minister on a point of order, and the Prime Minister was heard, and she was heard in relative tranquillity and certainly with courtesy. And the same courtesy will be extended to the leader of the opposition and to others who seek to raise points of order. That's the way it is. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Last night, the House rejected the Government's uh, deal, emphatically. A week ago, the House voted to condemn the idea of a no-deal Brexit. Before there can be any positive discussions about the way forward, the Government... The government must remove, must remove clearly, once and for all, the prospect of the catastrophe of a no-deal Brexit from the EU and all the chaos that would come as a result of that. And I invite the Prime Minister to confirm now that the government will not countenance a no-deal Brexit from the European Union. 